Generic greetings and welcome to Honey, I Joined a Cult. Today's beverage is a very nice and chilled coconut water, the perfect indoctrination beverage. So welcome to Honey, I Joined a Cult and a new series. This is essentially a base building game where you have a leader and followers and a compound that you have to build up. Obviously the standard base building stuff applies, so you're building rooms to house the followers, place for them to sleep, eat, recover, do research, but it also has the cult angle, so it's got temples and indoctrination and transcendence, worship, etc. And all of that would be completely horrible if it wasn't uh, presented in this sort of tongue-in-cheek cheesy style which makes it actually palatable which is why we are here either way this is a game I've played very little of only about an hour I just wanted to get this series started I've been eyeing this up for quite some time because let's be honest it cribs a lot from games like prison architect which we tend to feature around here and also a lot of people have requested that we do this so I guess this is that it is in early access so obviously nothing you see is final everything's subject to change there may be bugs etc but with that said and done, we're going to jump in, we're going to create a cult, and we are going to start our very basic compound. So let's do that right now. Okay, I've went ahead and set up all of our cult customization options. I skipped because, quite frankly, it takes some time to put all these in, and I thought we'd save a little bit of that. So we now have the leader info, our cult info, the cultists, and the room for our main worship area. So the leader, the head dispenser, Derek Generics, and that's what we have here. The cult name is the Worshippers of Beverly the divine being obviously being the mighty cup you can change the symbols and you may be wondering why is there nothing there well a we don't have anything even close to what I was looking for and B you can import your own which is a bit of a shame oh my lady so let's go with as I said that one there uh, cultist noun consumer cultist, uh, cultist plural are consumers we have the temple of generic for our main holy room and no cup included is the relic because quite frankly well there isn't as you can see there's many different types and you've got your sort of Lovecraftian Cthulhu, old god stuff, snakes, you've got I think that'll be some sort of, is that supposed to be Ten Commandments or maybe uh, 2001 Space Odyssey <laughs> block or it just could be a bit of stone with nonsense on it. Um, you've got Ark of Covenant, uh, Magikarp, Rock, Rock that kills Superman. There's many different options. So we're going to go with that one there because it seems the funniest and we're going to keep the tutorial on and we will start and then I'll probably realise that I've spelt one of these wrong but we're not going back. So this is the tutorial where it will explain what we need to do. So hello world, hello there, I'm Derek Generics and you can call me the head dispenser. Welcome to the worshippers of beverage and the mighty cup told me you are coming. It tells me lots of stuff just through just me though nobody else can hear it so I'm gonna end a lot of this stuff we're mainly focusing on how we build things and yeah that's just it's telling us how to move camera I think we can figure that one out and yeah we can zoom in and out yeah that's fairly easily understandable so look at that this is our compound it is already fenced off and we do have an entrance down the bottom and oh look at that we also have uh, a couple people as well so I've also set up the uh, the colors ironically I went with almost a prison uniform for these because well well, one would, I could argue that that's sort of what it's like. So consumers are the engine for our organisation. They perform all of the daily duties and keep everything running smooth-ish. So, yes, uh, save for the emissions they're sent on, consumers spend their entire lives in this beautiful compound. They are truly blessed. Actually, sometimes they're arrested. Yeah, that can happen. So they extract money from our visiting followers who need the money to realise the mysterious grand plan of the mighty cup. Indeed we do. So, I purchased a compound with some money I had from previous ventures. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to disclose what that is going to be. We're going to develop a state-of-the-art facility that can provide the needs for the consumers to make money from our followers. Let's get started. Let's go ahead. Oh, so while you can treat your consumers badly, we still need to provide their basic needs. So they do have needs, these people. So we can click on any one of them. We've got uh, Olivia here, and we can see they have mood and health and uh, different things for their uh, signing status for the bed and things like that. We've also got, oh, their, this is staff member here, their mood, their health, and you can see they have hunger, energy, bowels, hygiene, happiness, oh, well, it's funny here, and prestige ratings. They also have moods and traits, so... They are a new consumer, plus 20. However, their traits are they are quality, very poor. That's a bit of a 
a strange thing to just put to someone you don't know. They are rotten. Maximum hygiene is decreased. Ooh, and strange, petty criminal. Fair enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's, let's talk about moods. We've went through that one there. Let's get to building. So building the foundation. Let's crack on with this one. So we have options for foundation here. We have options for brick, concrete, grey, metal, and wood. Um, how do we want to go? I mean, you know what? I am just going to go with the brick because it reminds me of certain other games and the door. I don't think the door, however, we will go with cell doors. That seems to be a little bit too mischievous. I think we're going to go with, I like the door with the window on. That's pretty all right. We're going to go with that one there. So that's the very basic building up and running. We also want to section off. So again, we'll follow that. We'll go down to the walls and we will clicky clicky draggy draggy and get the walls put in. Uh, luckily, it is basically just telling us the very basics and what we need to do let's d uh, assign some rooms apparently so uh, tired consumer a uh, tired consumer won't perform their duties well their chit chat is also super dry <laughs> okay they need to bed uh, to replenish that so this is going to be uh, just a, a basically a large bedroom for all of them in one go. I was going to start from scratch without the tutorial, but I thought this would serve as a good thing for yourself and me to remind me of certain things. And once we've got the basic compound up and running, you can destroy all of these and redo it. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. Anyway, let's assign different things to it. So we want to build some mattresses. Mattresses? Mattresses? Mattress. Uh, we'll rotate uh, rotate them around, rotate them around, and you need the mattress and the box for their clothing so they, they literally live on a dirty mattress I say live on they sleep in a dirty mattress among other things other activities are also available on that and you've also got the storage boxes for their personal things and we do need a door because generally it helps you go through I will put a cell door on door in there you know the height of irony for that one so that's where they will go ahead and sleep uh, oh we also need to have somewhere where they can fulfill their hygiene needs so we'll build a bathroom in here there we go you can see it automatically places everything behind that so all of the tiles and stuff we're not placing that which I don't mind at all it's uh, it is what it is for the door we will use uh, you got different coloured doors here. I think it would be wrong to use something like that. We're going to go with this wooden one, perhaps. Actually, no, we'll go with this white one, maybe. Uh, no, I don't like the slit that's to it. Uh, it is, after all, a, a toilet, so we'll go with that one there. And what's good is that you can go to see specific room objects, and it filters it on the left-hand side, so that's pretty good. It just uh, makes things a lot easier. We need two sh uh, sinks, two showers, and th uh, two toilets, and you can see it is literally a bucket, uh, what is it with Team 17 and buckets uh, <laughs> for uh, toilets and showers? Anyway, we'll have toilets, we'll have the showers, and we'll have the sinks, which I will rotate, and there we go. And that is our very basic bathroom. It also now wants a canteen. So this is all of your very basic stuff that you could sort of expect from this type of game. Uh, we will put like, a nice little window on this one. Actually, I prefer the metal doors, but... Uh, do I want to go with those? Are they the same price? They are the same price, so do I want to go with that? I'll stick with this. Uh, we'll go with the wooden ones for now. Uh, we'll close that down and over to room specific objects. We need vending machines, water coolers. We need one of everything, basically. So there's your. Oh, there's a place to sit. Where can we put that? I mean, we could put it anywhere we want, really. I guess uh, there is okay. We'll have probably the food serving there we'll have a vending machine there and then we'll have a water cooler there you can see i'm rotating it around and it uh, works fairly well there we are and that's where consumers will eat in the canteen and well other things as well some scientists believe that vending machine food is not particularly nutritious well it depends what vending machine doesn't it? it can also be expensive a kitchen will provide better quality cheaper food like gruel you might want to build one in the future <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of research to do. There's also asking us to place decor items, so we'll do just that. Let's drop that down and go to decor. And luckily, lighting is automatically on, so you can see if I put indoor lights here, these are all the lights that have been placed there, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we want things to make it a bit better, like cheer it up. We'll put like a nice potted plant in. I actually quite like quite like the look of that and maybe a small bookcase in here or, or a cupboard cupboard might be nice in the bedroom there that's uh, all of the items done okay brilliant so i like what you've done with the place no problem placing decor items will increase the prestige of the rating of the room so and improve people's mood as well so let's uh, click on it and we can see the prestige of the room so oh yeah the prestige is actually higher on this one okay that's oh i guess that's trending up towards that who knows 
And now it wants to build us, uh, this is where we have to build the holy room. So, do we want to build this out of something else? Are we going to stick with, no, we're going to stick with the, stick with the brick, why not? The door will be, I do think, like a sort of metal door on this, like a security door. Or maybe, I'll just keep it open, we'll, we'll do that one there. Uh, it asks us to build, well, for a start we need to place the temple of generic, which goes in there. And we've got a nice wooden floor. And we have to have... We've got different idols and lecterns and stuff. So you've got bronze idols. you got wooden ones. I like that. So you need to build at least two pews and one idol. Well, the pews we can place uh, probably on the back there. One and then two. That tree's in the way, but no big drama, I don't think. And it's shouting at me because I think you need at least the rest of it to function. Build me a holy room right now, it's telling me there. And we need a lectern, so we'll place it right in the middle and then at least one statue which i'm going to place either side i can't place another one which is a bit of a shame it's also asking for deco objects as well this is all optional but it's not really optional in this particular sense we've got lamps we've got mirrors we don't want people looking at each other or themselves uh, lava lamps that seems to be fairly cool place one in there maybe and we'll place the other one there all right so that is pretty much done Holding sermons in the holy room creates faith. Faith is drained by each consumer. If it gets too low, everybody's mood will suffer. All right, okay, let's hold the first sermon then. So, sermons will occur automatically each day, providing your holy room uh, is fully functional and accessible, which at the moment it is, unless that tree happens to shift over like an end. Looks like our first sermon is about to start. So, oh yeah, we can hear the, uh, the, the bells ring there and they're all heading over. So we're actually getting overtaken. We are not even too keen on getting there. But the rest of the followers are there and we'll come and we'll start. Ooh, once upon a time. And you can see that we are now, yeah, we're starting the sermon. All oh, right, there you are. So wait until the sermon finishes, no problem. Also on the bottom that we'll go through eventually, there's missions, researching, uh, divine inspirations, which I've not really looked at, and obviously more things to build as well. So different object types, different floorings, etc., which we'll all touch on in uh, due course. The mighty cup is watching, and there is the sermon. So let's see how it went. So they loved it, apparently. Sermons are more efficient if I'm in a good mood before they start. Okay, they take a lot of the head dispenser's energy, though. So let's... Uh, space them out. By the way, the head dispenser, I was thinking more of like dispensing beverages, like barista or mixologist, but the fact that it says the head dispenser has a bit more of a sinister ring to it, which I'm sure people will get. And there you are. There's a sermon quality. Two out of five stars, so fairly garbage. We've generated some faith, we've lost some mood, and energy's gone up, and there you go. Job done. I like where it changes all the names. I think that's a nice, smart decision. Anyway, we can uh, go to the sermons tab here, and we can set up when this happens. So you can change the time the sermon occurs. Uh, you can also alter it and have it uh, just fire off. So yeah, that's fine. So followers are the cash cows that we need to milk. They'll happily pay for all sorts of strange treatments in our therapy room. Well, I guess we'll need to build a therapy room first. So clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. Let's get this done. Obviously, all of the money is... Oh, by the way, the doors, they automatically, like, sort of t rotate for where they should be, which I think is a nice decision there. And, yeah, this is where we're going to have our our room here. And this is interesting. This is a meditation studio. And the medita meditation stage, do you use a stage to meditate? I wouldn't have thought so, but there you are. Uh, we need meditation mats as well. One, two... Uh, rotate them three four five there you go and we also need a deco item oh, actually we don't need a deco item but i am going to place a deco item and i like the idea of a um do we need plants yeah place plants there oh look it's actually getting used already we haven't even finished it practically and they're over there they've already run over people love uh meditation sometimes I say I'm meditating, but I'm actually asleep. Those therapy rooms will make us a fortune. Consumers will work the therapy rooms during their work routines. You can set up their routines and different staffing options and things as well. 
but we'll touch on that later. Followers will spend their time praying in the holy room and receiving treatments in the therapy rooms. Different therapy rooms produce more different amounts of resources such as money, faith and influence. Followers will leave if there are no therapy rooms available or if they are bored into the current ones. Build as many different therapy rooms as you can to keep the money flowing. Remember, it's all for the mighty cup. Alright. We need to convince the people to become our followers before we can make money from them. So we need, in this particular case, it is a lobby. So yeah, right at the front of the compound, we will go for a nice inviting... Oh, so if I place that there... Oh, look at that, it automatically rotates around. Perfect, that's what we want. Set that as a lobby. Nice blue carpet with some triangles in there. And a lobby desk, which... That's interesting. Can you put it on half tiles? Yeah, look at that. You can put it on half tiles, which is curious. And there you go. There's the reception. And it does say deco item. What deco items have we got? We've got lava lamps. I mean, a filing cabinet. We're going to have to go with a filing cabinet, aren't we? Uh, there you go. We can only place the one for now. Uh, there you are. So that's job done. And oh, Amy Leaf has already come over to staff that as well. Good. A decent receptionist is very important to try and make someone... Uh, who can string a sentence together. <laughs> Not like me then, apparently. If the receptionist does a good job, the person will join us as a follower and start to visit us regularly, or the therapy room regularly. So you know what people really love? Paving tiles. Okay, so is it just going to ask us to pave? Yeah, we're just going to pave. We're going to go with standard paving tiles from the front, and there you go. Job done. Excellent. I met someone in Dubai yesterday, and they said they'd drop by to check us out. They should be here any moment. All right, let's see where they are. And... Oh, there they are. So they are coming along. Oh, by the way, there's our transport as well. So we actually have a bus. So this is a person who is walking to the lobby. It says unknown. I can't see what the name is. Uh, but it's an unknown person who is wandering over. Look at that. We've got a founding plaque on the front as well. Interesting. So we're all at the front here as well. Well, yeah, it looks like they're going to go in. And they are going to have a little chat. So I guess they're chatting at reception. And hopefully, yep. Yeah, chatting to a potential follower hopefully if this all works out they will become a follower and there we go yes that has happened wow they uh, look totally different i remember wonder if they're still interested let's see yeah it looks like that. that's our first follower pretty sure it was my uh, bar chat that made the difference and you can see they've wandered over here now and they're yeah they are sitting down so there's Ryan O'Connor, who sat down. They have a happiness, health, and a recruit. Quo a quote is your uh, wizard, Generickson. Yes, we've got a Harry Potter quote there. Uh, it's a straight line checker is the current job. Bio, joined on day one, was once punched by an excitable kangaroo. Do kangaroos punch? More of a kicking animal, really, in grappling, I would have thought. Although, yeah, I guess they did use them in circuses. Circus sizes? Circus? Anyway. Edible and cabbage shaped stuff. Well, like a cabbage? We have to make some money. Let's speed it up to max speed and get this money. You can see we are generating. It looks to be generating money and whatever this stuff is. Influence, I think? I'm not too sure. But we are generating it. And no, they're heading to the therapy room. It did say they do, Im do therapy and uh, the praying in sort of equal measure. But there we go, 49.10 generic units of currency. We've ma managed to get it. Excellent there. Clearly love the Mighty Cup very much. All right. We need to... Oh, want to send more competent consumers to the town to carry out tasks. Others should probably never leave the compound ever. Okay, so let's have a look at missions then. So missions, we have... This is our main map. We are in the center there. But we have a mission further down, which is shouting <laughs> outlining. So this is... Uh, uh, shouting outing, should I say. And this is a town hall, apparently. And if we do it successfully, we gain extra PR rating. We'll assign someone who... Oh, they've got a lot of negatives across the way there. I'm going to assign someone who is not doing anything. That's their current job. We'll send Darren over there and begin the mission. So, yeah. Great to have someone shouting about how great we are in town. People love that. Send someone there. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we've done. Alright. So they are heading over there. Um, Ask us to revisit. Oh yeah, so you can check to see what the deal is. So, yeah. Job done. Just looking over here, we can see that people are using our facilities. The facilities are, well, fairly poor, if we are completely honest with one another. Uh, do we see the person moving on the map? We don't, but we do see the progress of the mission. So it only takes an hour to do that. Yeah, it did say mission duration, one hour, so that's fine. 
and it'll get to the top and there you go we will turn it in we have gained uh, your consumer has returned uh, our main outcomes are PR rating with extra experience and 500 money Wow just shouting apparently gives you gives you 500 generic units of currency. To be fair, I found that if you do shout more on YouTube, it probably works. Anyway, off they go. The successful mission will depend on many factors, like who you send and how hard it is. Let's see how they do. Review the mission, which we've done. Yeah, looks like they're good at shouting. Missions provide all sorts of rewards. Personal, uh, personal will not return for missions until you review the result. Fair enough. If we're going to make some serious money followers, we need to sign a research flunky. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a research office. So that goes in there. Let's set up the rooms. We need an office desk and a research computer. So the cogitator will go at the back there. The desk will also go there. And because we need somewhere to go in it, we'll place that and a deco item because, well, I like deco items. Go with deco. And it'd be rude of us not to place a lava lamp in the middle. And there we go. Consumers won't work in the research office unless we assign a research task. So what have we got? Maintenance room, PR missions, and recreational. And this is quite a long list. If you notice how far that goes, that's quite a long list. A lot of it is just upgrades. And a lot of it gives access to like more missions or different types of furniture. Some of it, however, are like different rooms. Either way, a new room. This is the maintenance room. Consumers are using this room to wander around the compound, repairing broken objects and cleaning clutter because well we have to clean and there we go Darren has wandered over and started to uh, to do that we can check out oh no we can't at the moment it's uh, not giving us access to the buttons but we can check out the different followers and see what they're doing and assign them to different jobs but we'll be doing that probably in the next episode this is just the basic tutorial and getting the very basics up and running but as I said everything we can expand upon and if nothing else it provides a solid foundation for us to experiment with the I was gonna say the cult but it's more the people isn't it really over to research and we will return that we have now managed to complete that research job done and oh we can see that this is broken the lectern is literally on fire Okay, the cheap furniture we bought isn't holding up. Yeah, third-hand IKEA furniture does tend to do that. Um, <laughs> other manufacturers are available. Let's go ahead and we will build a room. In this particular case, it is a maintenance room. And obviously, it's at the back here as well. So we'll go for specific room objects. Actually, let's put the door on first. Standard door with window. That's what we are using. We'll go ahead and have the workbench. Oh, it's quite large. All right. Uh... I like the two tool trolley there. We'll have that there, and then the workbench will go in there. Why not? Oh, right. That's a uh, job done, and no objective to build a better looking room or anything. At least you can move the this, uh, this tutorial around, which I quite like. So it says observe the maintenance worker. Uh, there we go. There's Olivia. And they are going back and forward, and they are cleaning by the look of it. Yeah, so they're going around and cleaning. I assume then this... I don't know if we'll get any physical change to the look of buildings or anything like that or the floor. It might change based on the the cleanliness of the room. Oh, it does say awful room. Okay, so maybe horrific food. I uh, don't know. Maybe if we click on this room, what's it say? Bathrooms are needed by consumers to use the toilet and shower. Yes. It says prestige, but I don't know if it says about how clean it is. Either way, we have observed them and we can also right click on broken objects to manually get them done so they're gonna crack on and move over and repair that so if there was someone already working as a maintenance person they would probably repair this as a matter of course but because this is the tutorial it's just telling us how we actually do this and looks like she's gonna go over there and repair that by banging a couple of extra nails in there or whatever and that is now done okay good as new the authorities don't take kindly to organizations like ours want to try and keep a low profile and we have a heat level on the bottom left certain actions increase heat such as people dying consumers leaving and mission failures if it gets too high people may protest against us on the police might intervene as well heat will slowly drop over time if we stop producing it good uh, my friend from the bar looks pretty desperate i reckon they join our ranks if we ask them okay fair enough so we can select a follower and we can recruit them can we yes we can uh let's recruit and there we go. Is that pretty much it? Oh, they're deciding. Ah, so the follower's thinking about it. So the result is yes. Looks like they are a new follower or consumer. Yeah, there you go. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, 
another this game is full of references I found there's a lot of references We've got a die-hard reference there uh, they'll definitely need their own bed but that bedroom is t looking a bit cramped I recommend expanding the room uh, as we gain more consumers uh, the might cup takes a lot of different things from raining down hell fight to summoning giant octopus creatures I wonder what angle it goes with that one are we just nuts or you know is this uh, genuinely something that <laughs> we are experiencing and it has like a that sort of weird angle. Anyway, we need to build a leader sanctum. We have to choose which direction to go in. Uh, whatever we do, we need money, so make sure you've got regular floor followers. Good luck. All right, uh, looking for a lava lamp. Sometimes you, all you want is a toilet bucket, but you can find is a maggot pool. Search filter is a great way of finding things. Yes, we are aware of that. And yeah, all right, I think that's the basic tutorial over with, but it's also talking about leveling up. Consumers gain experience by performing tasks and going out on missions by working hard. They can level up and improve their skills. Spend skill points to make your consumers... Uh, or make them more efficient in specific areas. Oh, hover over each skill to see more information on what area affects tip. You can manage job priorities of your consumers to ensure that your skilled workers are assigned to the right tasks. So yeah, there we go. There is our people and there is their level up. So Amy, Anna and Olivia are in need of level ups. So that's pretty good. This is their, you can see their positives and negatives and it's going to affect their mood. We've got skills and traits. So Amy is really good at things. Uh, Anna is not. Uh, <laughs> and we can see the jobs as well. So for example, we can say Anna. We're going to say we want to prioritize those for maintenance but if we give them some skills in I think it's uh, planning increases patrol speed on maintenance rooms so you've got like, things like retail it increases all therapy rooms improvisation or oh, increase patrol speed we're gonna put that up as well as is that, yeah as well as our probably planning so we're trying to get them working on that uh, for Amy we want them working in the lobby I Ideally, yeah, as a priority, and oh, there's still two skill points available. My mistake. So we're gonna go with. Uh, you know what? I might just take them off negatives for everything. Uh, they've got bad memory. Although maybe it is best if we just pr uh, prioritize that. So Amy in the lobby, uh, we want probably empathy, uh, infirmary, no bluffing. The lobby increases recruitment chance. Yes, one, two, and social maybe. Increase, yeah, recruitment, yeah. 3, 4. Alright, that's confirmed. And Olivia will say probably for... I don't really know what to prioritise. Prioritise in that one. Probably the research office. You will know, prioritise that. You can also say ignore the room. Um, I'm just going to put it on... What is it? High priority. Yeah. So we're going to give her probably... It's going to be intelligence, isn't it? Which is increased research speed. So all there. Uh, level up. Job done. Alright, cool. So there is that. Research, we haven't got anything selected. I'm going to go with a recreation room. We're going to get that building. And we will probably place some more stuff in here. So, look, I love that. You can just click on the room and click on see specific items. And you can just build more. And this is going to increase the prestige of this place. Naturally, we are obviously a little short on certain things, like generic units of currency. But, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go to building and to our foundations and increase the size of this which is good over to rooms and then to the bedroom and once again increase the size of the bedroom we do need to go to move object and move that up but it means we go one two and then uh, rotate around three four you can see just how quick it is to build things which I think is uh, almost half the hurdle in uh, some sense of this one do we have any missions that we can do? We cannot do any more missions, which is a bit of a shame. But we have got the very basic cult up and running. And I think that is a nice time to leave it there. That is the first episode of Honey, I Joined a Cult. We have got our very, very uh, new cult that's just starting up. Yep, yeah, and hopefully we can continue on in... Oh, actually, continue on with... Uh, all of this in the future and see if we don't get shut down but there we are not too bad at all all the basic rooms couple of expansions and we also have obviously lots of research to do lots of missions uh, getting to oh we've got followers now we've got uh, two new followers so 
hopefully assigning Amy there has helped out because there's people wandering back and forward and visiting us. So yeah, we need to get some more research, build up and get more rooms, do the thing, play the game generally. Oh, there we go. There's a, a, a new room which is used by consumers to increase their fun needs. Let's run with PR missions. All right, so we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of funny. I joined a cult. If you have any tips, suggestions, comments, etc., by all means, let me know in the comments and as always, we'll go from there. Hope you have enjoyed this. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.